Hi everyone, welcome back to Simpit Academy. We're going to start looking at the F15E Strike Eagle. How to build the um, dev console. And these are all the panels um, for the left console. For this video, today we'll be looking at the uh, ground power panel. So for this panel, all the switches are small toggles and I've taken the lazy route of not bothering with the um, locking holes and recesses at the bottom. Um, the toggles protrude out enough. So this is basically three steps. Just create the holes, create the lines, and create the text and pad them. All right. You see here that we have um, some labels here, T2, FT3, whatever. So it's just to tell me what goes where. So the same legend will be used for all the panels. And here it is. T2, T3, small toggles, two-way, three-ways, big toggles, BT2, BT3, and then these flat ones are FT and then you have the pull to turn two and three ways you have rotary switches doesn't matter whether it's the nerve type or the d-shape type and then rotary encoder and the dual shaft type we have parts we have push buttons and light indicators of all sizes round or square big or small are just L but um, you'll have to remember what type and what size you're using now the thing I want to stress on is try to always get the 6 volt here so it can be powered by Arduino instead of having to buy power adapter so this slide here shows the position of the holes roughly and all of them have the same size 6.1 the second part is just to draw the lines okay um, I'll show you how to join them and then the third one is to add the text and you always pad 1 mm and then you want to fillet the corners um, pretty much you're done okay like I said in the previous video you want to pet text at the very end when you're done with lines and holes and fillet whatever stuff the more text you pet the slower free cat becomes um, so just bear that in mind so you see uh, with all the text here you pet them and it looks three-dimensional right now this one is a fake um, there's nothing here you just draw a circle and pad it and you'll be like this and you print in black and draw everything white and you'll stand up so two types of switches here the small two-way toggles and three of them and the flat handle type three-way plus you need to do you need to create a knob with a rectangular slot to fit this okay then when that is done um, oh this is here this this one shows how to create it you just draw a shape like this and pad 8 mm height and then switch to the smaller side okay this is the broader side and this is the 5 mm side and draw another one create a sketch draw this rectangular and pocket it okay 19 mm and then you have this and then you're done 
so wiring is very simple the two-way toggles three of them just has one, one pin uh, one side one leg of the toggle to a pin each toggle just one pin one digital pin and a ground all the toggles can share one common ground okay there are several grounds here here and here and two more here four so you you can do like eight nine ten for all the two-way toggles and then the three-way toggles they all need two pins okay a left and a right and then the ground is in the middle so repeat this twice so like two and three four and five six and seven like this then this whole row you would have um, wired all the toggles for this panel all right and then plug in your USB um, and you're done okay DCS BIOS um, don't get intimidated it looks like a, a lot of code but you are not writing any code all the code has been done for you all you are doing is you decide which pin you want to wire to the Arduino and then tell the code which pin number all the red uh, numbers are the pins you're assigning you just have to tell the code what pins you are using that's it okay so you see when you print in black PLA and you use this marker and you just draw over it and it will stand up this one the line I think um, I must have knocked it off dropped out but other than that um, this is how it looks like and um, it doesn't take long to create this panel wire the switches and put into DCS buyers and then you have a working panel okay now it's time for demo so to start click new body sketch xy plane and um, hold the uh, scroll button of the mouse to move around so if you want to create a panel start from here and do this so one thing about the corners you can fillet the corners in two ways one is to use this but this one you have to define um, af define the dimensions after you create the corners or else they disappear okay let me show you let's say this one it's um, let's say you do 50 and 100 okay if you create corners Like this and then you select the corners and you say you want a radius of 1.5 okay now it floats and the length have like gone off quite a bit then you have to redefine so define the dimensions after you fillet or another way is to do this you start again you can preserve the dimensions let's use the same one 150 so what you can do is you can close pad let's say 6mm then control and click to choose shift with the mouse to rotate so now you have 
picked all four and click this fillet 1.5 voila okay so now this is preserved this is how you um, do the corners okay for another thing about text if you want to sorry not text uh, lines first let's do lines if you want to do lines you create a new sketch on the padded surface um, and you want to do the lines as shown here what you do is let's say you want to do something like this and then click here okay so let's say you set everything to 1 mm white then you join okay if you close and pad you will get an error so what you need to do is to remove all the lines inside but if you click this one the whole line will disappear so you need to use the trim and then click this it will now you can click and delete okay and this one you can just delete like this okay let's standardize this to one as well now this one you have to trim it's gone so this is roughly how you get the shape and then you pad so, oh, okay this two somehow got when you when you pad and it goes blank it means that some error okay so you select this two click join and this one now it comes down you have to trim this again okay and you want to have this to the same you click click make it horizontal now they are the same line okay this two will be the same too so there is still some error Okay, this and this join. And Just click and move if they come off, you'll see. okay we should be good now see <coughs> when everything is okay you will get something like this and then you just reduce it down to one that's how you pad the text um, lines and the previous video I've shown you how to add text alright so assuming you have created the lines all like this and then you have added all the text now they are all flat the text you click the text uh, you, you must move all the text into the body not outside okay now you moved it under the body 
you select one by one and you click and it gets highlighted and you pad one see this one now becomes more three dimensional second one pad one third one pad one okay just repeat everything here and then it will when you're done save and click body it will select everything and export all right then you can uh, save it to uh, import it into Cura and print it from there okay now we create the um, the knob for the flat handle toggle click new body sketch xy plane so okay let's not do rectangle let's use lines and do this and then select eight okay to make the line in the center click the two ends first click the vertical axis and click this symmetry okay then another line set to 5 and then click click vertical symmetry now they are both centered okay select this line icon join them and you want the height to be 20 so select any one of them and then to this origin and set 20 okay so 5 here 8 here 20 here we have this shape pad 8 okay now we have the rough shape so this is the height now we switch to this side the narrower end click on it create sketch and we want a rectangular and the dimension is 3 and 5.1 okay so 3 5.1 at 1.45 no wait, um, we need to center this click click center vertical and symmetry ok now it's centered and this height is 1.45 ok close pocket 19 one nine. Alright, so this is going to fit into the flat handle toggle and you are done. Same thing, save, click the body to select everything and export the S SDR. Alright, and you are done. We have the panel, we have the, uh, the knob and we wire everything and you can play in DCS. Okay, let's say you have Arduino and this is the code. First of all, you want to come here to the port. If you do not know what is the COM port of your Arduino, um, see what are the ports that are there and when you plug in that Arduino and if another one appears and that's the one, okay, for this case is 20. Com 20. I just put here. This is a commented out uh, line, so it doesn't do anything. Just to tell me. So the basic one. Okay, ignore all this code. 
this is the <coughs> the line these are the lines that you need and then here we copy and paste the code for ground power and assign all the pins all right and then this lines that's all you need okay and you click save when you're done click this upload okay the Arduino needs to be plugged into your computer preferably even plugged in before you boot up your PC okay um, then you click upload and you will run the sketch if all goes well it will say something like uploaded done uploading all right then what you do is before you run the uh, com port it's ideally that DCS is already up and running okay in unpause mode this one is still running so just to show you first this is the serial port this is the multi port we are just doing one com port at a time for now okay what you need to do is you edit with notepad plus plus and state the com port okay and then save all right this is still running but let's see if it works let's see we come here and click on this take a while to run I guess not oh this is now it's ready so once it's ready you see this thing will be running don't close it just minimize it all right then you can start flipping switches and see the same thing happen in our case we want to test this 